Now we're beginning section 2.5, but before we start 2.5, let's look at some skills that we need uh, in order to be successful in this section. Um, so this I got from the book, and I thought they were really good problems that we could work together. So in section uh, 2.4, or 2.2, we did the conversion of a system of equations of equations to an augmented matrix. Okay, and here we have one given. We have one given. Let me get a, a thinner color here. All right, so we have the matrix 2, 1, 3, 3, negative 2, and 8, and it stands for a system of equations. And then we used uh, the echelon method to uh, find the value, or we used the calculator. In both cases, uh, we did uh, some side word math uh, to uh, get the answers that we needed. So in this one here, uh, we want what we have as an identity matrix, so what we're going to learn today. But we need to recognize what we've done. All right, so uh, in, in this case, I've got a 2, a 1, a 3, a 3, a negative 2, and an 8. So I want to change row 3 I mean row 2, by uh, multiplying it by 2, because I'm going to get an LCM for the x's, and I'm going to subtract 3 row 1's. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got my 3, my negative 2, and an 8. And now I'm going to multiply, and I'm going to multiply, sorry about that, I should go ahead and multiply, a negative 2 through it. So that'll give me a 6, a uh, negative 4, and if I'm doing 2, a positive 16. Now I'm going to do a 3, a negative 3, to my first row. So that would give me a negative 6, uh, a negative 3, and a uh, negative 9. All right. So this would give me a zero, this would give me a negative seven, and this would give me um, a seven. All right, so then I would go ahead and make that, uh, well, I would divide by that negative seven. So I would have a two, a one, a three, because row one did not change, and I would have a zero, one, negative one. All right, well, I could further go into uh, subtracting the 1 from the 2, and that's what I'm going to do. Row 1 minus row 2, and that would be the 2, the 1, the 3, and I would subtract the bottom one, uh, 0, negative 1, and 1. That would give me 2, 0, 4. So that would give me this look. I would have a 2, 0, 4. I should go ahead and divide that. Let's do that. We're going to divide the whole thing by 2 and get a 1, 0, 2. So my solution is 1, 0, 2, and 0, 1, negative 1. And what we have here is on this section called an identity matrix equal to the solution uh, 2 and negative 1. That would be our solution set. Well, they gave us a 3 
a, a three by a four to do. And, um, but I'm not going to do that one because uh, it takes so much time sometimes. And I got to get to the new material. So let me do the one from 2.4. Uh, and in 2.4, Uh, we did multiplication. Of a matrix. So in a multiplication, uh, we have. The uh, meaning. Of the rows. Per the meaning of the columns. All right. So, um, and I haven't done the problems with the calculator, but I will in just a minute. Uh, on this one, I had the values. Zero of point two, zero point five, uh, negative zero point four, and a positive one point one, and we're multiplying by a four to six. All right. So in this case, I would have row per column. And I only have a one thing here, so that's pretty easy, right? So I would have a 0 0.2 uh, times the 6 uh, plus a 0 0.5. I'm sorry, that's a 4. What am I doing here? Times a 6. All right. So uh, in this case, I would then have a 0.8 plus 3. And that gave me a 3.8. Number of zeros, so you can see it. All right, so that's one part. Now I'm going to do the second one. This times this. All right, so on that one, I'm going to have a negative 0.4 times a 4 plus. Uh, 1.1 1 .1 times the 6 and that would give me a 1.6 negative plus a 6.6 .6, and that would give me a positive 5.6 and um, this would be our solution for this uh, multiplication. So now we want to talk about the calculator and doing something that's large like this. This one is uh, we're going to go to our input of a of the matrix. We have matrix A. All right, remember it's a capital A, and it is a three by four. Now we're going to enter it, and then we're going to go R R E F. To solve an augmented matrix, uh, we use our second key matrix, X inverse key, and matrix is on top. And we're going to arrow down till we find, and I think it's A. No, let's look. Before I tell you my second matrix math, and we want our area, and it is B. I was wrong. Oh, I'm going to go 
second matrix and we're going to arrow over the math and then we're going to choose B R R E F reduce row echelon form. So here we go. Uh, now you have those in prior notes. So let's uh, we're in the home screen. We're going to go to second matrix. Sorry, second matrix. Got me. Second matrix. I'm going to edit. We said it was at three by four. I always have a three by four. I'm going to enter carefully. One, enter. Zero, enter. Two, enter. Uh, negative four, enter. Two, enter. Negative one. Make sure we're putting the negative sign. Negative two and nine. And then we're going to the one, the two, the three, and the negative three. And we're making sure we have everything correct. And uh, I, need, I need to make sure I enter all of my numbers correctly. I have a one, zero, let's see, a one, two, one, zero, negative one, two, two, negative two, three, negative four, nine and negative three so i'm happy with that and now i'm going to go uh second quit to my home screen second matrix and i'm going to go to the map and do an r r e f then i have to name it second matrix and i was on a and enter and now i've got this mess here well then i'm going to hit math and enter enter and I get my fractional representation of the answer. All right, so that gives you that. that. Um, and the bottom one is a multiplication. And what we do there, if I can clear everything, is go to second matrix. And we know that this is a three by three, and this is a three by one. So we're gonna edit matrix one and we're going to make it a three by three and we're going to enter and the one the negative one the zero the zero three negative five four and two all right, now before I leave, I'm going to double check. Uh, one, well, I've, I've got a mistake. I typed in something weird. Now let's go back. It's a one, zero. I don't know how I got off on it. One, zero. And then I have a negative two. How did I put in a four? I don't know what my eyes were doing. I think I jumped to the top one. All right. Now on my second row, I have, um, that one's wrong too. Oh my goodness. A negative one. Edit. Not a three by one. Three by three. Right, I'll try again. There we go. So I'm going to enter what I see a one, a negative one. And I'm not sure what I did wrong, sorry. Zero, uh, zero, three, negative five, negative two, four, and two. All right, 
So I'm checking again because I, my track record there was bad. Negative one, three, and four, zero. Okay, this time I got it. Do second quick, second matrix, and I'm going to edit, and I want the B one to be a three and a one. There you go. Got it. Negative one, two, and three. All right. So I'm on my home screen. I want to multiply. So I go second matrix and name the first one times second matrix and name the second one. And it should say, oops, let me clear that. Second matrix A. There you go. Times second matrix B. There I go. And then I get my answer. And there it is. All right. So we've learned a review of the calculator and we learned uh, what we needed to get ready for this particular class. Thank you for listening and I'll get started with the lesson after this.